It's, a, it's amazing, you know, the crowd and uh, all of us with a good energy we had in the, in the gym. And uh, having this victory at the end of the day, so can't complain. First opening game, got the win. In the first half, you were dominant. What was the main reasons of the great start and what happened in the fourth? Uh, we was really aggressive. I think we start to, you know, push them and uh, make them doing things that they, uh, they don't really don't get used to do, you know. And especially with La Provito, like partner to make, you know, make them having some tough shots and uh, to crush the rebound. And I just think we did what we were supposed to do. Not perfectly, but we did it. In the third quarter, they just, you know, eat us back and we didn't expect it to, for them to step up like that. And uh, yeah, we had to respond in the fourth quarter and uh, be better. How you managed to close this out? Man, it's just, you know, the plays and uh, who, who was guarding me and uh, who was on the court actually. Because I think, you know, everybody stepped up, everybody did what they were supposed to do. And uh, it just opened my game to be, you know, more confident, especially uh, in the fast break when I had like uh, the three pointer. And I hit it. I felt like I was out, and I felt like I just, you know, played for my teammates, and play, play for everybody. Play for me too. Was it the coach demand to be aggressive as yourself in the end of the game, or you just took off? No, just to be aggressive every time, every time. But not only go to the paint, you know, make them guarding me so someone gonna be open. At the end of the day, I just gotta play my game, and that's what I did. And I felt like. I wasn't too much aggressive, and when I stopped being aggressive, I had some like open passes and had my own shots. Can't create my own shots. Do you have the clutch gene? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I just you know play, and when it's time to do the thing, I'm here for. It. And, uh, and I just think that's a good thing to have this, and uh, you know have my shots here. So yeah. It's almost a uh, rule right now that the second year in the Euroleague for a player is better. Uh, do you feel that right now, going to the second year after your first year in Bayern? I just want to like go step by step and make things better. I think you know my first year was just to get adapted to the year, and the second year is always a confirmation. And uh, I just think right now it's just you know I want to have a better relationship with my teammates, and uh, and for me too, you know I just play my game, but the most important thing is team sports. So yeah, we just I feel like it's going to be better. It's only the first game we never know. What can you say about the work with uh, Andrea Tinkieri? Amazing, amazing. I, I like this coach because what I like about him is just adapted to the players. And uh, in the end, I just he just telling us like what we have to do, and when it's time to you know for some players to play the one on one, we just gotta space out and run the lanes. And I just think we we doing good. We doing good. We had to step up, but we can be better. I'm pretty sure with this team, we can, you know, be better and better. We saw today, like uh, Ignis Brzezik is scoring six uh, first of his points from drives, like uh, the strongest part of, this, of his game. What can you say about the Trinkieri and this uh, going uh, towards the players' uh, strengths? Amazing. It's amazing. He just, you know, put confidence to the players and tell them, yo, just play your game and. He, I think he makes sure, you know, those players are in a position where they can play with their strength. And it works pretty, pretty good. And, uh, and you know, I'm just happy for for, for Iggy to do this because, you know, with Olympiacos, it was kind of hard with the injury. And now to get back to you know, play his game and do what he's been doing, it's really good. He had the front, so it's good. Many seasons, uh, Jean Ligre had strong first unit, but second unit was not, not as good. And today we saw the stack team. How do you think how to get this, how how the dangerous team in the Euroleague with this kind of deep roster? I just think we got more weapons than uh, than last year. I just think you know Keenan Evans, big respect to him. He was uh, he was playing a lot, but once he got hurt, you know, especially in the playoffs, it was like hard for the guys to step up with a new role in like two three days. So right now you got Iggy, you got me, you got Ty that can create, that can do something else. You got Matt too, and all them guys feel more confident. So I just think we got more weapons than last year, and, uh, and yeah, now we just gotta put everything together. It looks like Jalgiris plays uh, a lot of fast, uh, like running gun basketball sometimes. How that freedom to create complements your game and other perimeter players' game? Uh, this running gun, the fast break, is matching with any players right now, which is good. And, uh, and for me to have this and to play my game and make sure them guys running and I can't, you know, we can have an easy, easy threes, it's good. 
the end of the day, the team who's winning the games is the one who shot the most threes and one who's grabbing the most rebounds. So, yeah, for us to run and to, you know, have easy layup, easy shots, it makes uh, the team more confident. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.